Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. Hope you're having a great Monday. Tonight, we're doing nothing but hot topics. Of course, movie reviews and any music, but in terms of guests, we're doing hot topics just to end our last show of season 11. I can't believe it. This year has gone by so fast. It has, now, it has. I want to remind you all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website is stephenknightshow.com. You also go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and comment and like. We definitely appreciate you, uh, the Stephen Knight Show. And get your merch. I have on one of our sweatshirts tonight, stephenknightshow.com. So check us out. Um, before we get started, our thoughts and prayers go to the families and victims of that hurricane. It was over six states. Um, Kentucky got hit the worst. Um, they had deaths ranging from infants to 86-year-old person. Uh, people having to rebuild and lost everything, but also the loss of life is just crazy. I was watching the news before we started recording here, and it's just devastating. So thoughts and prayers out to all of you all. Stay safe. And people are donating money. Someone donated $6 million today. So if you want to, if you're able to donate, please uh, make sure it's to, to a rec- reputable place, but donate to these victims so they can rebuild their homes. All right, Christmas Con is giveaway. Uh, so every year we raise money around this time and we find a charity or something that we donate the money to. The last maybe four or five years we've been giving, raising money um, and what we do is we put together care packages for the homeless community here in Atlanta. We're going to continue that same tradition this year. So if you want to uh, donate to that, please cash app us at the Stephen Knight, Money Sign, the Stephen Knight Show. Um, Or you can do PayPal, the Stephen Knight Show at gmail.com. We definitely appreciate you. 100% proceeds goes to that cause. And what we do on MLK Day, which is Day of Service, we pass out the, um, the, the packages to the homeless community. So it's a wonderful cause. People have already started donating. And so we definitely appreciate you if you decide to support us in our efforts. All right. Lania, Chike, how y'all feeling? Hey, okay. okay. I feel pretty good. I now almost out. didn't make it today. <laughs> well, now yours out, but he wanted me to send his love to our co- the co-hosts as well as to our viewers. So we definitely appreciate you. Uh, last show of the season. This is crazy. Can you believe we're December already? Yeah, it, it came up fast. You did. All right, well, our question of the day is, are you a g- good gift giver? Lanier. Can't hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, now we hear you. Go ahead. You hear me? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm a good gift giver, but... Yes. I'm very extra... So, I mean, you can yes. ask CJ. <laughs> Is she a good gift giver, Chica? Yes. <laughs> I don't feel like I am, but I, I know she, that she I She gives you give. more than you need. <laughs> Everybody says I'm extra, but I always feel like it's not enough. So, I don't feel like I am, but I, you know, my boyfriend's mom, she has deemed me Miss Extra. Like, she says, you do too much. You do too much. It, you just, it doesn't matter. Like, you're just so extra. But she loves it, though, because she gets to reap the benefits mm-hmm. of me being extra. I just, I can't help. I just love doing for the people that I love. And yeah, just, that's just yeah. me. Right. Yeah, I believe that. What about you, Chica? Are you a good give, give, giver? Uh, I'm the kind of person that gives the gift that you didn't think that you need until you got it. And then it's like, oh, yeah. I'm that dude. So I guess, yeah, I guess I'm a, a good gift. Well, Ania, am I a good gift giver? It all depends, Steve. Because see, with him, when I get the gift, right, I got to read the card that comes with the gift. And see, generally, oh once I read the card that comes with the gift, it's not even a card, it's like a message. And I know that this message is going to be shady that's attached to this gift. You know what I mean? So I ain't going to stay here in a good gift giver, but it's going to come with some shade. And the, and the message that comes with the gift. <laughs> I think I'm a good so giver because give, 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 I always give money or gift cards. Because I feel well, like I heard, I heard you were. I heard you were a good gift giver. Well, I give gift cards. So, mm-hmm. so people can decide what they want with their money. 
because it's nothing like getting the gift you're thinking nice thanks you know uh but i guess it's the thought that matters but uh tweet us at home let us know are you a good gift giver Stephen i show shl all right well hot topic so jesse smollett he was found guilty on five charges of um uh convicted a charge of disorderly conduct uh you remember he he's charged he was charged with doing a homophobic and hate crime against himself he hired allegedly hired these two brothers um nigerian brothers to um you know to, to take out this crime on him apparently they rehearsed it they went to the, there the night before he drove them there he wrote them checks for thirty five hundred dollars um and although he was found guilty he's still saying he's innocent and um apparently you know he took the stand and when he did he brought up don lemon he was saying that don lemon tipped him off that the police weren't falling for the story well don lemon took to his show and he added hours after the uh guilty verdict and um he was speaking with a legal analyst joey jackson he told his viewers that jesse weaved a web during the trial for staging a hate crime he said he had to make up too many lies as to why he didn't want to do certain things uh, to mm -hmm. cover like another lie. And I guess he got caught up in that because he took the stand himself. He continued his commentary saying that he got angry with the prosecutor, just talking about Jesse, but the prosecutor as the prosecutor poked holes in his story calling uh, the only other witnesses liars. Previously reported, a jury convicted him, the Empire Star, of five uh, counts of disorderly conduct last Thursday. The jury deliberated for nine hours uh, before reaching the guilty verdict. Now, although this is a class four felony, these are class four felonies, um, they carry up to three years sentence and legal experts don't believe he will see uh, jail time, facing kind of jail time. I was watching one of the shows and they said that if he was smart, because apparently during his testimony, he was saying that he was doing drugs, and during that time and whatnot, they were saying if he was smart, he would take accountability, maybe blame it on the drugs, pay back Chicago, the city of Chicago for all of the resources they used to investigate this case. And then hopefully he would get a less, uh, a less um, lesser sentence. But he is adamant and his legal team, they're, of course, they're gonna, um, they're going to appeal this. And they are saying that the truth will come out in the appeal. Chike, what's going on yes. with you? <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, uh, which which the whole thing is sad. The whole thing is 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 pretty sad. But the brother also is a brand within himself, right? He's a brand within himself, and whatever mess this is going on is tarnishing the brand, right? Where he needs to be thinking is his legacy and how to move forward. And so he can continue to thrive and survive as a working actor, producer, mm -hmm. director in the business. Um, own up to it, put this mess behind you, move on. There's a film coming out that his first directorial debut is coming Let out. Legacy, correct? Yes, it's out. Um, James Earl Hardy's uh, series. Um, I'm actually going to try to get him on the show in the new year. Um, James Earl Hardy's series of books, which were bestsellers, turned it into a movie. Um, B-Boy Blues, that's the name of it. Uh, you can't afford this, man. It's bad timing. And then the nature of what happened is kind of tied into political stuff. And it doesn't look good. The first thing that they say on the other side all the time is it was people dressed up as, it was people acting like no one really got hurt. It was a scam. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? It's just wrong. All, all of it's wrong. Um, yeah, he needs to pay some and then a little bit more and then keep his mouth shut for a while. Yeah, because then even on the stand, he allegedly testified that he and one of the brothers had some kind of sexual relationship and they messed around in some bathhouse. What does that have to do with the case? 
<laughs> it's like, what are so, you doing? So I heard a comedian on another show and he had a good, a good uh, eye for what could have possibly happened. And he was saying that he probably was involved with somebody else and went and did something somewhere else. And it got a little rough, a little kinky. And because from, I guess what evidence is, he had rope marks around his neck. So he probably was involved in something, but he was involved with someone at that time. So in order to explain your situation to your relationship, you have to come up with a cockamamie story. How can you come up with a cockamamie story like that and someone's at not asking you, why haven't you called the authorities? So mm -hmm. you were pressured into calling the authorities and then you had to create this whole story to cover up all the lies that you didn't told. And here well, we the, the brother testified that he told him to rough him up, just don't mess up my face. Anyway, Lania, what are your thoughts on all this? So I'm not following it, um, but <laughs> he's probably not going to see any jail time because he's never really been, he's never been in trouble before. Yeah, that's what you were saying. So, but, you know, to Chike's point, if he just takes accountability, fork over some cash, um, keep his mouth shut, because I did hear about the outburst in court, which was stupid. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and sit down, sat down somewhere. Sat down, right. <laughs> sat down somewhere. Yeah. Um, you know, this can this can blow over for him. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't know. And it's a shame because with this project coming out, how would you really want him attached to it now? Like, not mm -hmm. it's one thing for him to be convicted, it's another thing if he don't know how to shut his mouth. Right, right. Because mm -hmm. you know, we, we got all kinds of people that have been a part of projects, they've been all up and through the system. Yeah. Well. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was smart that when he decided to come back to Hollywood or get back to work, that he decided to become a director as opposed to being in front of the camera because it kind of puts less attention towards him. But now with this case, it's like, I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, I, I hope he doesn't do jail time. They let Kyle Rittenhouse off for killing people. So I hope he doesn't do jail time, but I do hope he does take accountability, pays when he needs to pay, and move on with his life. You know what I mean? All right, well, Kanye West has made it very clear that he wants his wife back, Kim Kardashian. However, doesn't like Kim, Kardashian has the same alternative plans, which has some alternative plans when it comes to relationship status between her and Ye. Uh, according to TMZ, Kim is still moving forward when it comes to the divorce from Kanye and is making the process move faster. She's reportedly filed to become a legal, legally single. The documents were re uh, reportedly filed last Friday and Kim is asking a judge to separate uh, for separate the separate issues of child custody um, and property from their marital status. So apparently what's, what she's filed is it, it already makes you single. So once the divorce is done, that's already a done deal. Um, now, this news comes hours after Kanye switched up the lyrics to his song Run Away during his free Larry Hoover concert. He said, run back to me, more specifically, Kimberly. However, it looks like Kim is more interested in moving forward and not back. And news about the divorce surfaced back in February of this year, and Kim um, made a decision to file. Kim is being represented by Laura Wesser, uh, who has repped other celebrities such as Dr. Dre and Kelly Clarkson, uh, who also filed to be declared legally single during their divorce process. Now, apparently, um, Kim has secured their Hidden Hills estate in the divorce, but there's other property they're still going back and forth regarding. Um, and they're apparently looking to co-parent, so they'll both have joint custody over children, the four children they have together. Um, now, recently, they did attend um, a, a visual for um, Virgil Abloh. He's the one that passed away um, his final Louis Vuitton fashion show, as well as the his memorial service in Chicago. So I guess his fashion show before he passed and then the memorial service they attended together. But Kanye uh, retweeted a picture of them kissing. Um, and, he's, and he said, 
Uh, all that I think about every day is how to get my family back together and how to heal the pain that I cause. I take accountability for my actions. New word alert, misactions. Lania, camera's over this man. Don't you think so? Can you hear me? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, I hear you. I said Kim is over them. Yeah. Over him, and I'm over them. I'm yes. Over them. I know you are. Over. <laughs> over. <laughs> My brother said I'm not allowed to talk about the Kardashians because I can get canceled. <laughs> right. Right. You can cancel. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna defer to Chike. Chike. Uh, all Kanye has to do is get a contract somewhere doing something for like a hundred million dollars. Problem solved. She'll be back. I don't think she wants that man back. If he gets a contract somewhere for a hundred million dollars, she would come back. She got her own money. money. She would come back. She She does, but more is better. And then she can spend his. Because he would give it. (laughs) But yeah, I, I I mean I honestly think that she's already found someone else. She's already found that next. Yeah, apparently Pete Davidson, she's been dating him. Uh, you know, and he's got plenty of money. But apparently, um, so Pete Davidson and Molly Cyrus were recently on one of the Tonight shows, you know, late night mm-hmm. shows, and she was seen leaving his condo. So I don't know what that means. I'm just saying. I mean, who knows? They could be friends, you know. But she was seen that night leaving his condo. So. Players gonna do what players gonna do. <laughs> what kind of money he got? Which is that? Pete what Davidson. Is, I mean, I know he got money, but he got he got money. He got long money like that. Pete Davidson. Yeah. Yeah. He writes movies and everything else. He's mm-hmm. a ghostwriter. Saturday Night Live. He had money young. But isn't yeah. he also a recovering addict? He he's that, and amongst other things. Oh, uh, she's gonna send that boy back to. Oh, never mind. Okay. But she stayed with he stayed with a bad chick though, Pete. He does. <laughs> he must got a small. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. And that's oh. what they said. They said apparently, uh, Pete's Pete. He 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 has a <laughs> lot of swag though. He does have a lot of swag. Does he? Yeah, he does. I don't see it. <laughs> All right. Well, the fall continues from Travis Scott's uh, Astral World tragedy. Um, weeks after the Delhi Musical Festival claimed the lives of 10 people. So apparently he was, um, in 2019, they said that he was gonna uh, uh, headline Coachella. Um, But of course that got pushed back due to COVID to 2022. Well, he has been dropped from, as the headliner from that show. Um, Even, he even came back, his his, uh, booking agent, Carl Lewis, reportedly presented that he would do it for free. But Coachella, they said no. They, they don't want him mm. part of this show. Um, as you, you know, he he appeared. He did an interview recently with um, Charlemagne the God. Uh, when he was asked how he's feeling following that incident, he stated, "I've been on about different types of emotions, emotional emotional roller coaster. I mean, it gets so hard because I always felt a connection with my fans. I went through something, and I feel like the fans went through something. It hurts." It hurts the community. It hurts the city. It's been a lot, uh, a lot th- thoughts and a lot of feelings, grieving and just trying to wrap my head around it. Um, they said he explained that he didn't hear the, the screams or cries um, during the performance. He said that anytime he did would hear anything like that, he did stop the show, which they did show him stopping the show, but he didn't realize how severe it was. Um, but he has not since publicly responded since being dropped from Coachella. Chike, do you think this was bound to happen or do you think they should have given him a chance? So it's not like this is the first time that this has happened in concerts, stuff like this happens. Especially in his concerts. <laughs> well, see, that's that's the gotcha. That's that part. It's becoming synonymous. It's becoming, you know, a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's bad enough when it happens and people get hurt. They, I mean, it happened to Puffy early on in his career. 
and he was able to bounce back from it um cost him dearly but you know yeah. he bounced back from it and um he got over it but it wasn't something that continued to happen this is right. crazy so so basically out in the world or in these streets your performance or your concerts or your name is synonymous with violence and death that's not cool so why would they let him headline they, why would they take a chance just the insurance risk alone on him is crazy that's what i was saying about the insurance yeah yeah Linnea, what do you think I'm not going to say he can't recover, but ooh, wee boy. Yeah. When one time, okay, I can. Two times, you pushing it. Three times. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a little tight. And you know, if if he can't recover from this, please expect for those um, Kardashians to step away from him. Yeah. They're gonna take that girl right along with them. Mm -hmm. We need to we need to back away from this situation because uh, mm -hmm. this ain't good for business. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I see that happening more than I see you know anything else. Yeah. I think he needs to take a break for a while, you know, let this, you know, people, funerals are still happening. People are still recovering, yep. um, you know, take a break and then come back maybe in a couple of years or so, you know, and just give it, give it a moment. It, it, I think it was too soon from the headline coach, coach, you know, it was next year, but this just happened where people died. You know what I mean? Was that the Coachella thing, was that in effect before this happened? Like, was he like, was that a, was that already established in 2019? He was supposed to headline it, but okay. because of for 2020, because but of COVID. COVID. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. So he's still going to yeah. get some money from it. He, yeah. he, I mean, because it was a contract, he's still going to get paid a little something. Yeah, he's still going to get not paid. Not going to perform. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that's taken off, and because he did an interview with Charlemagne, and I don't think that. First of all, who are your PR people? Because that interview was horrible. Mm. You know what I mean? Like I. He, this whole there used to be a thing back in the day when you would get media training before yeah. anything, before you sat down and you talked to anybody yeah. and i don't know when that stopped mm -hmm. because some of these artists they go in and they're doing these interviews and they are horrible yeah. how are you sending your people out they don't even know how to have a conversation mm-hmm like so, how are you sending these 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 artists out? And they're they don't know how to sit and speak with people and 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 like really have coherent sentences, All right? And like full sentences and mm -hmm. engagement. You see me engagement. <laughs> no, no, that's true. Well, we'll take a quick break. We'll come back, find out why Madonna is calling out Fifty Cent, and then there's a, a white professor who was fired for getting two black students' names uh, mixed up. Right back after this. <laughs> 